hello and welcome everyone welcome to yet another video on my youtube channel now in this video i am going to show you how to um, first of all convert an eval version of the windows server and then how to activate it now in order to uh, activate you will need a activation key uh, but uh, the whole idea is to show you the process Okay, first of all, if you have an eval version running on, let me tell you that you can use that eval for 180 days, as you know, but then uh, very few people know that you can extend the evaluation for more six times, which is uh, equal to like three years when you do that, right? I will show you that uh, command as well, how to extend in, in, in uh, case you don't have the activation key, you can extend the same uh, eval for uh, six times which is three years in total okay so the first thing you can do is you can go and hit on run not the defender my mistake uh, window windows r and you can say winver to check your version which is windows server 2016 data center evaluation option so now we will convert this to the full system okay so in order to basically check the um, the time remaining for expiration, you can use SLMGR-DLI. This will basically show you how many days are still remaining, right? Two, five, nine, one, six, four minutes. Now, if you want to um, reset this, say for example, today is the last day of your um, evaluation. Can just simply type a command slmgr and uh, rearm. This is the command when you do it and then completed. Uh, please restart the system, system for the changes to take effect. When you do this, this thing, uh, I mean, the slmgr dli, you will see the uh, counter has been reset. So you can do the same for um, six times. Okay, uh, now in, in case you don't want to. Uh, do that and you want to move ahead with the activation and first you want to change this to the full version uh, the command let's say is the i sm online i'll put this all commands in the uh, description get current edition okay this will show you what edition you are on currently okay and this will obviously show you the server data center eval right so that is one thing now what uh, versions we can move on to is uh, now what versions that we can move on to is uh, what you need to see is through the get target editions this is where it will show you what um, editions you can upgrade to so for me only one option is there which is the server data center right so we will move on to this full edition and then we can activate our uh, machine now for this you will have to go on and enter the uh, product key which i am going to show you for the 2016 i have now this is done through this command online set edition colon server and then i will say obviously my data center which is sorry i'll copy this Go back, go back and press oh, my mistake, and then you will say server at the server data center. And then take it, I think, and then yeah, server data center, and then slash, and then the product key, right? Product and then colon and the key for this right so a 7 kf i will give you this key as well if you want and for other versions as well bw and 84 r 7 r 2 y 7 9 3 k2 8 
x d d g and hit enter and hit enter okay so after that i have to basically specify that i am going to accept the end user li license agreement which is accept eula this is what you have to mention at the end and then enter the command again you can see this has started the uh, installation of the product key and once this is done we will run the same command again and see if this has changed my windows server uh, edition from eval to full version then we can go and uh, go ahead and activate my windows okay once you're here it's asking you to um, restart press yes and this is going to restart the system now now we are going to connect back to the windows okay it's uh, basically cleaning up and we'll wait for this process to complete and we are logging in back now okay let's go ahead and close this right click and check the properties now you can see the eval version has gone since um, still it's not activated but now it's not showing the eval even if you run this um, uh, the the win version you will see now the eval version has gone so that is one step now let's move on and uh, do the activation here okay let me go ahead and run my powershell for this you would need the activation key right uh, the windows activation key okay once we have done the uh, i mean the upgrade of the eval to the full version then we have to basically run the slmgr command again slash my ipk and then my license key which is Okay, once when I've done this, installed is successful, then you will specify the my KMS server. okay that has been set successfully and then i will do my final step to activate my windows that which is this command and done so now again i'll show you this is not activated now i'm running this command and wait for this command to complete successfully Okay, so that has activated successfully. The script was uh, completed. Now, if I go and right click in properties, if I see, I can see my Windows is activated successfully. So that's it. That is how you uh, upgrade your uh, eval to the full version and then you uh, activate your Windows. Right. Uh, so that would be all for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. See you.